This is Nicola on the daily chart and we can see we had this leg down from about three dollars down to eighty cents and since then it has reached a short term bottom as price finds itself at the dollar fifty seven level after a pretty decent week in which price rose thirty plus percent. But why did price rise and is this rise in price sustainable as you do have price hovering just below the 200 day moving average. So we, before we continue with the analysis, let's look at this article. Now shares in Nikola rocketed as much as 36% higher this past week. The hydrogen fuel cell transportation company went into commercial production for its semi trucks after years of delays. So there you got it. Now, little history on Nikola. They went through a SPAC uh, back in 2020. Stock went as high as 600%. They had a Elon Musk type founder in terms of his uh, charisma. And uh, at that time, you had this strong nar narrative around clean energy. Then you had a famous Wall Street short seller. He exposed his founder at the time. Trevor Milton. Um, they had fake videos showing that the trucks were actually going down the hill when it was just gravity <laughs> pulling the trucks down the hill. Uh, shares of the stock collapsed, uh, destroying the majority of capital that investors put into the stock. Nevertheless, this week they hit a big milestone again by getting their concept semi truck into commercial production. After years of work, it looks like the company might finally start selling some products. Investors took this news positively and bid up shares of Nikola's stock this week. According to the company, it has received 223 orders for commercial customers wanting to buy these hydrogen fuel trucks. This is only a tiny fraction of the 4 million semi trucks in the United States today, but you have to start from somewhere. So just say if they get 1% of that market. Well, that would put Nikola definitely in business. Unlike most companies in the transportation space, Nikola is focused on not only making EV trucks, but also hydrogen powered vehicles. It was already producing EVs for customers, but now has a second product line coming to the market. Problem is, they need capital. Why? Well, just 76 trucks were shipped to customers in the second quarter of this year produced revenue of 26 million for the period. However, gross profits came in at a negative 50 million. Operating losses came in um, at 285 million. This means that the operating margin uh, was a negative 1100%. Yes, not really good. Not really a way to sustain operations or to continue to exist. So with that said, going back to the daily chart, I think we're going to see price fade this rally. I think price is going to go down to at least the dollar 20 level. Why? Well, that's where price held on Monday. Uh let's go to the weekly chart for a second. Yeah, so you see how on the weekly chart price could not close above the highs of the previous week, right? That uh, tells me that price uh, potentially is going to go down versus going up. And also if you look at the, I set the 125, 120 level on the weekly chart, you can see you have a level where price likes to um, chill out at. So... Uh, with that said, this week, look for price to pull back to the origin of the move higher from last week. Uh, this will be an opportunity to take some off the table. Um, I don't see price moving higher at this time. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Please like the video.